Okay, part two of the plow pivot project. Solenoids installed. The brackets need to be painted yet, but for testing purposes this will work. You can see, maybe you can see the pins engaged now. There's a spring on the solenoid. That helps push the pin in when, when you come to a certain angle. The biggest problems are if you're not up against the stops like we are on this side, the pin doesn't easily go into the slot. And we'll discuss that a little bit as we go on here. So, moving the plow left to right. The way it's wired up now, the solenoid picks up anytime the motor has power to it. So when you get to the stop, pin comes back down. Same thing to the other side. Get a little bit of slack in the motor we have to watch when we're operating it. And when we get to positioning the plow in another area, another angle other than the ends, you can see the tough to set the pin at that time it's set, but you kind of got to mess around with it. So in order to fix that problem, we added up another switch up here. This switch, when you kill it, kills power of the solenoid. That way it won't pick up the pin. So when you're in an intermediate area like that, basically you just keep the solenoid from coming on, and then you move the plow the pin will lock and you can see you can still operate the motor and of course it won't swing the plow that allows you to get to the other settings easier switch off pin drops it's locked switch on pins up you can move it around if there was detents at each of the locations it would be easier but this is one way of getting around it so, so far so good, and when the snow comes we'll give it a try.